Happy Disney Plus Day, everybody. So let's um, let's just keep going with the Black Series reviews. This one is probably, I wouldn't say a long time coming, but the fact that we jumped ahead and now we're backtracking back to Wave 22. And because Disney Plus officially uh, unveiled, dropped, opened, started, whatever you would like to call it, as of today, November the 12th, so the Mandalorian, it just seems appropriate that we look at that figure. So hold on. Hey everybody, Papa Gord here, and this is going to be 100% spoiler free. I have already seen the first episode of The Mandalorian. Don't tell Carter that I already watched it, but I already watched it. I'll watch it. I gotta watch it. There's a lot of stuff to process. Um, I will say that I thought the episode was going to be longer, but that's it. Uh, I liked what I saw quite a bit. Wasn't say it's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen, but you got to build up. Um, and it's only going to be eight episodes, so that's that's going to be something. But uh, you know what? It uh, just it 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 gave me some Star Wars feels. That's for sure. So if uh, if I got some feels there, then that's going to be a very good indication of what's to come. Um, but yes, um, I will say too, in the comments, guys, if we can uh, not, just no spoilers, um, or I will shut the comments off for this particular review, just to keep it fair, because I mean, some people may not, uh, may not even subscribe to it, or what, you know, whatever, so, um, just to make it make it fair for everybody, you may not even care about the Mandalorian or giving Disney even more of the monies, but just yeah, let's just keep it on the down low. I think uh, we'll run it for you know like a week, but we'll be on other reviews at that point in time. So if we can just keep it spoiler free on my part and on your part, uh, I would appreciate it because I, I'd like to leave the comments where they are. So, we're going to talk about the titular character, uh, the Mandalorian. Um, and here he is right here. Uh, I'm still trying to be very positive about this figure. Uh, I, oh man, it's got some quality issues. I will give it that. Um... Mine, I will say, is probably better than some of the ones that I've seen people. <laughs> At least it, he's got everything on his person. Um, I have heard of people that got one without the shoulder pauldron, uh, that some of them are missing this uh, knee uh, armor piece, or it has right off. Um... I will say he is, he is wobbly, and uh, he's wobbly in the legs, and he's wobbly in his torso, so it's, uh, for an otherwise really cool looking figure, and there's probably still details on here I probably haven't seen, because on all honesty, I've, I've, I've kind of shelved them. Um, and I think he, he's going to be in Cara Dune's shadow, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to hopefully see... I mean, he is a grail piece, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, at least up in Canada, he's a pain in the ass to find. Uh, again, had I not ordered my case through Juggernaut Toys, um, and I keep forgetting to plug them, but uh, again, saved me a lot of, lot of hassle trying to hunt him down. Um... I kind of want to get the carbonized version because maybe I don't know but I'm never gonna find him up here and I don't want to pay a premium for him so uh, if anybody's got an extra one and they just want to send them my way I Papa G would be really appreciative maybe we could work something out um, but uh, yeah he's I, I dig him uh, th there's really good points and there's 
again, just the, the quality issues is really taken away uh, from this figure for me. And it's really disappointing because of it. But, um, but yeah, but let's, let's, let's pretend I think he's the bestest figure in the world. So uh, I dig the helmet. It was hard to get used to not having the scope, but not all Mandalorians have their uh, their range finders, whatever you want to call them. Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Sabine Wren, all of them, they have. He doesn't. And the longer I look at him, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that he doesn't have uh, his... Uh, his rangefinder, his viewmaster, his whatever, again, whatever you want to call it. I'll just say his scope. And that's all right. Um, Hinge-wise, he gets tons and tons of range. Um, now, there is some hindrance, unfortunately, because of his cape and because of his helmet. But, you know, he doesn't get bad uh, up. Looking down is okay as well. Um, so yeah, and again, the detail, it's got some weathering on there. I don't know if the light's going to hit it, but it almost looks kind of bronzed out a little bit as well. So it's a nice kind of a dirty wash, um, on the sides here and here. So he's not, again, he's not brand new. He's been around a while and it, and it shows chest plate so again lots of nice detail on his chest plate uh, I think he's cool that he's kind of put together he's not like Boba Fett and Jango Fett are very together if anything he kind of gives me more of a Sabine Wren ish feel because with her being an artist and painting up her own thing and kind of making her armor her own style uh, I think he kind of you know fall I think he just goes with what he has um, and that's all I'm going to say on that. So, uh, yeah, but you know, his kind of his bandolier is uh, nice, pretty nicely detailed. Got some buckle thing. You got some, some armor or not armor, some ammunition down here as well. And that runs into his main belt, which he has his holster on the one side. Let's get his arms up here. Um, his things, I'm not, say, again, not saying, uh, anything, although it could just be what I think they are, but, you know, and again, nice, nice detail on there. He's got some dents, he's got some dings, uh, armor-wise up on his shoulders, you know, his, his upper, um, armor pieces, this one is very... Not going to be the right one, but very short trooper ish uh, looking. But he's more the um, either the uh, the Walmart exclusive or the like the the squad leader one. Uh, that's what I get, even on his uh, his uh, the the backs of his uh, hands here with the little blue arrows. So that's kind of neat. Um, so again, makes it look like he's maybe he's a bit of a scrapper. He just throws on what he can find. So that's all right. He's kind of got like the baggy military pants with the armor plates on top. And so he's he's running a couple of different colors there. Same with his uh, lower legs. So he's got some, some stuff going on here. One knee pad, uh, something a little bit different on the other side. So again, really kind of cool. Um, so yeah, his ratty torn cape, I'm on the fence about. Um, I should, if I could get at my phasmas, I'd pull out both my phasmas because they're phasma with the the uh, battle damaged face, soft goods. Uh, original phasma has the the rubberized one that hangs. It hangs because that's the way it's molded. And there's not a lot of play with it, and it sits. Now with his, he's got such a fair-sized neck hole, and I don't know how hard it would be to pop his head off, and I'm not about to attempt it because he's the only one I have. If I had two or three, I would probably go ahead and 
um, pop his head off and kind of go from there because I feel, uh, I don't know, with, the, with this, I mean, the detailing's there. It looks nice. You can tell it's kind of weathered. It's one shade, which is a little disappointing, but they kind of make it look like it's frayed. Um, and it is more molded to kind of sit over over his one shoulder. Now, I don't know how much better it could have been done with soft goods because it's such a, such a fine line, but I, I think this is probably the way to go. I know with, uh, again, just looking over uh, with Boba Fett, he's got that, um, he's got soft goods, but it's very crisp and clean looking like mine's very just folded and it's in place and it doesn't look like it's blowing in the wind or any of that stuff so that's it's you know i think again i don't know if they could have done it any better than how they've done it especially with it being more of supposed to be over one side more than the other so yeah um range wise again you've got standard he's got a deep enough cut that you get a 90 degree uh angle like I showed, he does get nice mobility, like really good range, but he's just so, so loose. And I know it's not mine, just mine. I know he's an issue with a lot of people. Um, Ham and Jam, Haley had mentioned to me that uh, she thought the looks of mine was really good because she had also heard or seen that uh, major quality issues with the uh, with, with the waste. Um, so uh, yeah, I am definitely going to be on the hunt for one more. Again, anybody's got even a regular extra or a carbonized, hit me up in the comments and maybe we can again get maybe we can work something out because I do want a second because um, I just have a feeling that he's gonna break and I'm not gonna be able to replace him without spending a fortune on him. So, um, so yeah, so I mean, he's so the range is good in the arms. I'm, I'm okay uh, with that. I don't know if they could have, they could have maybe tried a double joint, but again, you're getting his, uh, his, uh, his wrist gauntlets running into his bicep part there. So, um, so yeah, so we'll just leave him with his hands in the air and he's waving them just like he don't care. Okay, and as far as articulation, I haven't really tried to move his legs too much. But again, uh, not bad range. He's got bulky combat pants with armor, so, you know, that's okay. He, he gets good spread as well. Legs go out pretty good, a little bit of back. Um, you know, he's, he's good. Like he, I, I, I like him. I dig him. I would, I want to love him even more than like, but it's just, it's, it's just those two things. Like he doesn't stand, like he eventually, when I have him on my shelf, he slowly just does this and goes down. And I, I don't like to have to lean. And, uh, I don't mind so much if I have an extra couple stormtroopers and I stick them in the back and you can't really see them besides maybe the shine on the white helmets. But when you have a figure like this, you want him out. And he's the lead of what's now four figures in this series now with the Mandalorian. So he's not like he's just standing by himself. Um, so yeah. Now, accessories. What does he come with? Unfortunately, he doesn't really come with a whole lot. Uh, what he does come with is okay. He's got his uh, long desert uh, tuning fork, uh, Boba Fett-esque holiday uh, special from the first appearance of Boba Fett cartoon with his little, uh, little bits here. It's nice. It's at least it's painted more than even two colors because you're black, you're silver, you're brown. I, again, I have heard with the carbonized version, the paint is not adhering to this very much at all. And, and I will back up previous statements that I have said. I don't think you need to carbonize the weapons. That just seems a little weird. But, um, you know, it's nice enough. There's some details on there. I, unfortunately, 
wasn't paying much attention. I don't know if you can kind of make it out on how semi roughish looking this peg is. I thought the peg in the back of him was deeper. So here's me just trying to shove it in there and wondering why it keeps popping out, which is a gripe, but pretty cool. I like it. And then you've got his just regular blaster pistol. Uh, you know, a couple of colors. He's more gunmetal looking black handle, uh, you know, for being such a, you know, again, a small thing. I don't think it's going to focus. It's, you know, it's nice. It's good detail. Now, I don't know about you guys. I want to know down in the comments, because this is what I'm doing with his pistol, is I am putting his pistol in a backwards. Like so. Because the peg because you get that little nub like a lot of the uh, holster guys that it won't go in unless it's got to go through the trigger finger for the blaster so I don't know if that's a thing I honestly couldn't tell in the episode if he keeps his blaster backwards but uh, is that how you guys are doing it or do you have them displayed pistol out with his uh, his rifle on his back now speaking of his rifle on his back oops this could have been done but yeah so the back of his little bandolier thing there if you notice he's got a peg in his back a little hole in his back and that if you line it up with his strap that's for that peg hole and I'm surprised it actually got in there the first time. Usually have an issue. So, you kind of have them semi-posed-ish, but it doesn't go in deep enough. It does, you know, so it, like so. It's, it's not, it's not great. Um, so yeah, so I've actually been posing him holding it. That way, I, it doesn't irritate me because I would love to have him like this on my shelf, holding his 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 pistol is the way I would prefer it. But um, yeah, this is just all kinds of weird, and I still want to. I've got that just I gotta push it in. I got I you know I'm not pushing it in far enough, but it's just how deep the the the, the peg hole in his back is. At least it holds well in his. You know what? This so far this is the best it stayed in so far. But that rubber piece, at least that holds it in place. And if you're not moving around too much, then he's all right. But like I said, the quality issue I have with his legs, when eventually he just sits there and starts doing this and goes kaboom, and then that loosens this part out. And it just, it makes me sad. And I don't like to be sad. This, this stuff, I don't, Rogue One, shout out. Uh, this stuff makes me so happy and uh, you know you bring them in right there that means nothing to some people probably but we know he's in it uh, we've seen him in the um, commercials the, the trailer so yeah so we're we'll be getting into him for sure because uh, we've done two out of four this would be the third third one out of the four of them IG 11 will be next for sure but so that's, that's, that's the Mandalorian. Um, I dig the overall look. I love the weathering. I love the mismatched bits he's got on. It's mismatched enough, but it's kind of matchy at the same time. And I'm, I'm more than okay with that. Uh, I totally look forward to where the series is going. Only seven more episodes and then we're done until season two, which has already been confirmed. So, and there's plenty of Star Wars stuff on the Disney Plus app to keep us busy, um, definitely. But uh, yeah, so he's he's great. I love to have him. Uh, I'm going to throw some pictures up. Um, you know what, forget it. We'll just put him down for a second. This side, this. One of these sides, let's go this side over here because I still have been lazy and haven't put my poster back up right there. So. Three more figures have been announced um, in the past couple of days. 
We've got the uh, the Jedi Darth Revan. The uh, battle droid, but a two-tone colored uh, heavy battle droid or something, which I did say when the, the original battle droid did get announced. Easy one for Hasbro to milk. And this is me milking something very small and invisible for you guys, but um, because we have the Geonosian, uh, the red one coming out in early 2020, Here's a third one, so slap a different color paint, give them some um, rank markings. Very easy, I'm surprised they haven't done a four pack. And now that I've said that, maybe we will see a four pack of, uh, of battle droids. And then, a heavy Mandalorian, heavy whatever, ooh, deluxe. Uh, which I think is going to be, from what I have heard, a fan channel exclusive. So, oh my lord, does that thing look good. So good. But, so yeah, three more, three more figures. Uh, February 15th for the uh, Jedi Revan and the, uh, the droid. Um, and I'm not sure about the Mandalorian, uh, the heavy Mandalorian figure. Uh, and then I think there's been a little bit of, um, one of the guys who does a lot of box art for the Black Series, I guess had posted um, a shot of possible spoiler boxed art um, that uh, was put up and then went away. And uh, so I've been trying to look. Now I have seen, I think what's the picture which is a uh, Zeb, Jar Jar Binks, um, another trooper, which I've heard people say it might be from Battlefront 2 maybe or something, but he's kind of bluish. He's got a bluey hue to him. I think Bly is in the picture. Um, and I think there was one other in there, but I think it was one that we already knew was coming. So potential spoilers, maybe? So, it looks like 2020, uh, start saving your pennies, everybody. So, that's all I'm going to say. I cannot confirm nor deny any of this stuff. It's just, it's the internet, right? So, um, so that's going to do it for The Mandalorian. Uh, well, we, uh, we're going to be doing IG-11 next. And we still have a few more to go. But, in... Um, celebration of Disney Plus finally rolling out and Mandalorian episode one season one officially watchable today it's time to do this guy so not that I need a reason but there we go that's it so that's gonna do it for me guys I am gonna get this sucker up for your viewing enjoyment if you decide not to watch the Mandalorian on repeat all day to make sure that maybe you missed out on a few things I'm gonna have to watch it probably another a few times easily because I know I've missed some stuff by blinking. So that's gonna do it guys. Uh, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. You know it helps out the channel. Um, don't forget Jedi Luke Skywalker giveaway. Uh, probably run it for one more week and then pick somebody. Backpack of awesomeness for 500 subs which I think we need 130 more but whatever. I. I may just randomly go 490 or 499. 499. 501. Eh, whatever strikes. 501 would be really good. Anyway, I'm way off on a whole bunch of different roads, but that's going to do it. Um, yeah. So enjoy your Disney Plus day. Have a good one, eh?